بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی وی سی سم ایگزامپلس آن دا کلیپر سرکٹس ویو ہیڈ اے بیسک انڈرسٹینڈنگ وی ہیو وی ہیڈ اے گریٹ انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دا کلیپرس ٹو ڈے لیٹ سی لیٹ سی وی سی سم ایگزامپلس آل رائٹ سو لیٹ می گیو دی ہیڈنگ آف ایگزامپلس فائن سو لیٹ سی دا فسٹ سرکٹ دا فسٹ سرکٹ دیٹ از گیون ٹو اس از لائک دس so have a look it's quite a simple circuit you know this very well what will it do a plus minus v input is applied the output is taken across these terminals of the resistor plus minus v output over here the resistor has some value or not whatever it is let's say if we need it so we will give it a value right the input that is given is uh, like this the input that is given is let's say a sort of a square wave uh, we input where this is supposed to be 20 volts and this is supposed to be 10 volts and it repeats so 20 and this is 10 we are asked to sketch what we are asked to sketch the output wave fob so have a look when this is a plus minus this is the polarity so which means that the input is going to be this 20 volts right plus connected to the positive terminal negative connected to the end terminal so what does this mean this means that this is going to be forward biased so if this is forward biased, this is a short circuit v naught is simply equal to v input let's consider the value of the resistor to be 1 ohm for instance right or whatever it is so v naught is uh, when 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 the input voltage there is positive 20 volts this implies what that this is forward biased and then you have v output equal to v input this is for the positive half cycle all right yes you this is your output waveform this is your time axis then what uh, uh, v output is equal to v input so this means what that that this is equal to 20 volts right till a t by 2 till a t by 2 this is equal to 20 volts now what happens for the next cycle so for the next cycle when you reverse the polarity so let me tell you let me tell you that if you reverse the polarity let's say you use over here a minus plus so have a look this minus is connected over here plus is connected inside this is going to be open circuit so v naught is simply a zero volts right v naught is simply a zero volts now what do you have to consider over here it does not make a problem it did not make a problem but if you have a negative to positive like this if you change the polarity then over here you will not consider the input equal to negative 10 over here now you will consider it to be positive 10 when when you say that when the input voltage is a negative 10 volts so over there what do you use to you you have to change the you do not have to change the polarity which means the polarity will be the same as the previous case let me draw it with the black color so that you understand it so over here you would have it like this plus minus this would be the polarity but when you when you change the polarity so then you don't have to include this negative sign over here you don't have to include it you have to say that input voltage is simply 10 volts so have a look when the input voltage is 10 volts with the reverse polarity the output is going to be 0 volts and this is the output which is 0 volts this is the time t and this will repeat in such a fashion so have a look what is the name of the clipper so let's say we name it this is first of all no additional source than the input so this is an unbiased unbiased the diode is connected in series unbiased series is it a positive clip or is it a negative clip it has clipped the negative portion so this is an unbiased series negative clipper this is your first example in the second what do you have this was just a simple you know a half wave rectifier circuit so in the second if you let's say we assume the diode direction to be opposite let's say this is the diode direction now again you have the plus minus input polarity over here and the plus minus output polarity over here 
so what do you have let's say we have the same input is applied let's say the same input is applied and again what do we have when the input voltage is a positive 20 which means plus connected to n side and minus connected to the p side so this means this would be open circuited v naught would be zero so this is if the time exists this is the output so v naught is zero till when till the t by two point and then what do you have now have a look when the negative cycle arrives when the negative cycle arrives so this would be a negative this would be positive so the output would be equal to the input and the input in this case is minus of 10 volts so this is minus of 10 volts this is still t now how did i do it so if i do not change the polarity i know that the current direction has reversed so this would be short circuit v naught would be equal to v input and what is v input v input is minus of 10 volts all right and when i mentioned that the input and if i if i change the polarity if i change the polarity then what will happen negative to positive so have a look uh, v naught is equal to minus of v input so i have to take the input as 10 volts and then minus of v input will give me minus 10 volts right if you did not get it again so this is a very confusing point most people confuse it in the rectifier circuit this is also a rectifier circuit so you need to clear it with the with the given values let's say i'm not changing the polarity i'm only uh, you know reversing the current direction if you say so v naught becomes equal to v input if I do not change the polarity, so my V0 comes equal to V input. And the V input in this case is minus 10 volts. Right? Yes. Now, if I change the polarity, if I change the polarity, so then I have to consider the input as a simple 10 volts, not a negative 10 volts. Right? Because I have changed the polarity. So now what will happen? Negative to positive, negative to positive. So V0 comes equal to negative of V input and this comes out negative of 10 volts. So this is again a negative 10 volts. And now I believe it is clear. So most people do not get this point in the, the, the rectifier circuits. I believe I have made it clear. You need to give the feedback in the comment section. Right? Yes. Now, what do we have? So, I am considering the ideal diodes for the simplicity purposes. Example number 3, silicon diode. Uh, ideal diode. Let the silicon diode go. This is an ideal diode. Then you have a negative positive source connected and this is a resistor and, and, and the output is taken across the resistor output and then what do you have you have a plus minus input over here and what is the input waveform the input is let's say again a square wave of 10 and a minus 10 volts so have a look you have a 10 and minus 10 this is the input voltage so what happens for the plus sign this is a 5 volt source this is a negative positive 5 volt source we have an additional voltage source this is biased right yes plus connected minus connected forward biased which means what the output is equal to the input directly isn't it it is should we no it would have a little drop of this 5 volts no no you cannot say it directly you cannot say it directly when the input wait you have a mistake here you have a mistake over here yes and the mistake is what we have a source so we have to consider that as well so this plus is making it forward bias, this minus is making it forward bias again, right? So which means the diode is forward bias in the first cycle. So V0 would be equal to what? Input minus uh, this 5 volts. So it would be a 15 volts, right? So the output would be a 15 volts for the, not a 15 volts, a 5 volts. A 5 volts. Yes, 5 volts? Yes, 5 volts, yes. So V0 would be? 5 volt for the positive cycle then for the negative cycle what would happen if this is let's say minus this is let's say plus now so 
so this is making it reverse biased but this is making it uh, forward biased so when the input when but the input over here is 10 so 10 is greater than 5 this is 10 so what will happen in this case is that this negative 5 is greater than the negative 10 so this will make it reverse biased negative 5 is greater than negative 10 so this will make it reverse biased and simply v naught would be equal to 0 volts v naught would be equal to 0 volts so this is a t by 2 this is t so what is the circuit what is this circuit do? this is a biased this is a biased series right bias series and it has clipped the negative portion biased series negative clipper and i have a mistake somewhere the output is basically v input to plus 5 volts so this has to be 15 in the positive cycle this has to be 15 in the positive cycle and what is the biasing so if you see the biasing is a negative biasing the biasing is a negative biasing you can check for the polarity it's negative biasing it is negative biasing let it be or you you just check it with your standard as we we saw in the previous videos check it with the standard and then you can confirm it if this is negative biasing or positive biasing please just confirm this point and let me know in the comment section let's say we move on to the next example we move on to the next example so you have a 3 volt source over here the diode is reversed in this direction then you have a uh, wait wait we have a source over here as well so you have a plus minus source of 3 volts and the output is taken across this resistor plus minus input this is 3 volts and this over here is plus minus output the input is shown as a sinusoidal wave having a maximum value of uh, 3 volts the, the 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 maximum value is 20 volts and similarly the minimum is minus 20 so this is a negative bias right check for the polarity and similarly you have this negative 5 as the reference level you could say hmm? yes now why have I included this negative 10 so anyways don't confuse it this is negative bias right yes so now have a look for this circuit have a look for this circuit so what happens in the positive cycle have a look this minus connected to the n side this plus is connected to the p side this is making it forward biased but the input uh, is making it reverse biased so we would have another level that is a level of 3 volts so if the input exceeds this 3 volts this would be reverse biased if the input exceeds yes the 3 volts if the input is greater than 3 volts this would be reverse biased and this would imply the output would be 0 so which means this particular region so let me draw it over here this is my time axis this is my output axis so this region is let's say let's say this one and then what would happen if the input voltage is less than 3 volts for all the remaining cases if the input voltage is less than 3 volts so this would be forward bias and if this is forward bias so v naught would be equal to input to minus 3 volts right input minus 3 volts yes input minus 3 volts so over here let's say we have a minus 3 similarly and this one and then you would have it like this so if this is a minus 20 this peak over here would be at a minus 23 volts is that it fine it is now again have a look this is a biased clipper biased positive or negative it has clipped the positive portion P positive parallel series clipper 
and what is the biasing it is positive biasing why is that positive biasing so you can you, you you consider the previous the standard one and you will see that the negative would be connected to n side positive would be connected to p side of the external dc source you could also see it from here that the reference voltage 3 volts is greater than 0 it's positive value right yes parallel let's say we have another what is the case we have a current limiting resistor and we have a diode simply and you have a load resistor rl this is your load resistor through which you have to take your output as a plus minus v output over here you have a plus minus v input let's say we apply a triangular wave to it let's say we apply a triangular wave to it if this is my time axis this is my input axis let's say this is the wave applied this is t this is t by 2 so what happens now when the input is in this region that is in the positive region what happens so plus is connected to p side and is connected to a uh, negative side so this becomes forward biased all the current flows through the short circuit path right when this becomes forward bias so the diode becomes short circuit and all the current will flow through the short circuit right so which means the current through the load resistance is zero this would imply what that the output voltage is simply zero because the current is maximum without any resistance so the output voltage is zero in that case let me draw it over here the output voltage would be zero till t by now for the next case for the next case when you reverse the polarity when you reverse the polarity let's say negative positive so what happens n connected to positive p connected to negative this makes it a reverse bias and this makes it a reverse bias so it makes it an open circuit so which means no current will flow th through this branch all the current will flow through the load resistance and neglecting this current limiting resistance potential drop so what will happen is that the output would simply be equal to the input voltage this is it right let us name this so first of all you don't have any external uh, source so this is an unbiased and then it is, it is connected in parallel with the load the diode so this is an unbiased parallel positive clipper unbiased parallel positive clipper because this has clipped the positive portion of the waveform yes yes the, let's say we have another example let's say we have another example so we have a resistor over here you have a diode you have a, a, a voltage source and the output is taken across this load resistance RL if you don't include it as we didn't in the previous videos still we don't have any point this is let's say an ideal diode this is a resistor when we need the value we'll give it a value for now we do not need it this is a four volt source reference voltage is four volts the input applied is let's say a sinusoid this is time axis this is my input axis t by two output voltage this is time axis this is output voltage so let us find out the output voltage in this case so let's say first for the positive half cycle what will, what is this doing the plus is connected to the p side minus connected to n side the source is making it forward bias but have a look the plus of the four volt the reference voltage source is connected to the n side this is making it a reverse bias so when would this be forward biased when the input voltage is greater than four volts so when the input voltage is greater than four volt this will be forward biased and if this is forward biased what would be the output voltage the output voltage would be this is a short circuit so this would be simply equal to 4 volts right so let's say if this is my 4 volts somewhere whatever is the peak value if we need it so we'll give it a value right let's say any general value you could consider so this is the place where this is t by 2 this is the area where v input is greater than 4 volts so v naught would be simply four volts over here 
and what is what happens when we input is less than 4 volts so when we input is less than 4 volts for all the rest of the case for the overall waveform right if the negative cycle is well including that we input is less than 4 volts so the diode has to be reverse biased right that will be reverse bias that would be an open circuit equivalent and V output would simply be equal to the input voltage. So let's say this is the input voltage. This is your capital T. So now let's let's name this circuit. Let's name this circuit. So uh, have a look this is a parallel clipper. This is a reference voltage source so we have a so we have a we have a biased parallel positive clipper why because it have clipped above a certain line or positive portion and what is this biasing so this is a positive biasing why because the reference voltage is greater than zero so this is a positive biasing yes yes so i believe i finished this video over here these were some easier general examples in the next video we see some examples from the book so i think i got in i got a little speed but the thing is that you understand it right yes so when you understand it you can do it yourself as well see you in the next video till then take care of yourselves goodbye